Hey everybody, Mariko Curry here, bringing you part 13 of Let's Play Survival Kids. In the last part, we went back to the original, well not original, but the previous uh, side of the island which we washed ashore after taking a raft. Uh, now that we made it back here, we also found another survivor. However, he is uh, unconscious and it's been said in the last part that we need to feed him. Or it wasn't said, but it was hinted at. Uh, actually, let me check if I have any items. Or as in, like, any meat. Yeah, I do. Uh... I guess we can try that. Uh, why did you repeat the text? And I forgot that I usually read. Uh, but yeah, she just repeated, I'm Honey again. I, I, I did not mean it that way. I'm Honica. Uh, how do you, how do you, how do you do? <laughs> What's your name? Who, me? And we get to name our character. Uh... This is mainly because, well, let's see. Mmm, that does not work. I really do. I really do not like this four-character uh, setup. Put an I, Mari. No. There we go. Mark? No. You know, I'll just do the same thing as Honoka and just basically put only the first four characters in the name. Anyways, my name is Mariko. How do you do? Oh, where are we? Inside a ship. A ship? Then we can go home. It's chained up. It's not going anywhere. Chained up? Yeah, we need to unchain it. But I need the gem that goes to the slot... Uh, that goes in that slot to do it. A gemstone? I got one. You do? Let me have it. And we get the oval gem. This must be it. I'll try it. I'll try it out now. Uh, are you alright? Yes, I'm just a little dizzy. What? Take it easy. I'll work it out. I'm sorry to cause you trouble. So you said something about going home. You're not from this island. No, we we had a shipwreck. Oh, so you were on this ship? Ah. It's okay. He's a friend. His name is Taro. Oh, I see. How do you do, Taro? And he jumps for joy. Taro sure is lively. I'm gonna guess since he's still dizzy, that must mean that he's still kind of weak, so... I think giving him more food can work. In this, in this way. You can have this. Thanks. Uh... Is that it? And I got nothing else. Um, I'm gonna have to leave. Actually, let's go put on that oval gem right now. Let's get the oval gem. And there we go. The chain is come undone. Let's head back. Get some more food. In this case, we want to get some more clams. Unfortunately, it looks like there are no more clams. I'm gonna guess the same way as uh, Sweet Home and or Resident Evil, which I haven't played, but I'm gonna go on a stretch here and take a wild guess and say that uh, 
items are scarce and you have to uh, just basically rely on what you can find and eventually they'll run out. I, that's what I'm guessing on this point where uh, we are basically... We basically picked up the clams uh, on shore much more than more, more than uh, than we needed, and that ends up using up all the uh, let's take that all the clams that could be displayed there, not displayed, but like spawn there. Basically, they have a limit of how many times you can get a clam from that spot, and I guess we pretty much reached the limit of how many we could take. Uh, we're gonna take some more items. But I think we want to take these uh, Fatigue berries and take them to uh, Mariko in order to... Oh! Let's get ourselves some, co some cooked meat as well. Oh, but this guy is going fast. Oh! He was cornered. Alright, there we go. Uh, actually, good timing too, because it's about to get dark. Uh, make sure we don't get, go thirsty. There we go. Yeah, our fatigue is, all, is already halfway. Let's go back in the boat. Fatigue, fatigue... Hardberry. And another hard fruit. And that's about it. This meat is for us, so we are going to. We should probably cook it right now, since we have, since we have the chance. But yeah. Uh, As I'm recording this, it's going to be one day uh, before, or is the day before uh, Thanksgiving, and let's actually get some rest right now, because uh, yeah, that fake tea is going to be in the way if we go just straight in. But yeah, since it's going to be, not only because uh, it's going to be Thanksgiving, but also, um, because I'm going to be work, I'm going to be on training for almost, and training pretty much takes all day. Uh, for, it's going to be basically, I think, uh, five days for a whole week. Or no, no, not a whole week. Basically five days, and the thing is, oh, there actually is a clam. And, uh, yeah, it takes up the whole entire day. It goes from five o'clock to 10 o'clock at night, so basically I get home around 4, so I'm not going to have any free time, but it's only going to be for the first couple of days of training for uh, my new job, uh, after which I'll have like a schedule and I'll basically be able to uh, plan out when I can make videos and such, but for now I'm trying, I'm pretty much having a marathon with my videos, I'm going to be recording as many uh, episodes uh, or footage as I can in this day so that way when I am too busy at work I already have a video uh, prepared to upload and such so that way it's not gonna be a very very quiet and very long uh, time till I get uh, leave till I get uh, back on making videos again Alright, so what we're going to want is... Let's take that too. And speaking of uh, recovering thirst, my throat is killing me. Alright. Now, I think I figured out what I had to do. I think I was supposed to use the uh, clam, not safe to eat raw. So... Yep, we pretty much ki we pretty much paralyzed that uh, alligator. And now he's just sitting upside down. But now we access to this new area of the island. 
Another hard fruit. Yeah, it's going to be a long... Tr I think this is going to be a long... Or, actually, I don't think it's going to be long. I just think... I don't know what I'm expecting for the next, for this uh, segment, because... There's been so many moments where we had to go so far off the island that we ended up uh, pretty much... Oh, it looks like there is an area that way. That's it. Looks it looks suspicious since it didn't. Ha it had a different color behind it. Um, let's actually eat that because we didn't actually eat any food. Oh yeah, we're we're down to fifty. Good thing we ate that. Uh, missing. It's missing an eye. There is something written here, but it's too dirty to read. Uh, didn't we get that before? No, it says it for almost everything. Yeah, that thing is missing an eye. Looks like we're going to need our axe, but we don't have it with us. So, what we're going to have to do is get back to our side of the island. Let's eat that. And head back to this side of the island. To get ourselves our, uh... Axe. And she's getting tired, so I think we should probably start scarfing down some of those, uh... Fatigue, uh, hard fruits. Okay, not use, eat. Uh, let's see two of them just in case. And let's eat that cooked meat because I know it's gonna spoil as soon as we uh if we go any farther with it. So might as well eat it now so that way we don't uh lose it. And we're back to our hut. And let's see. I think what we're going to want to do is basically do a straight run-through. Just basically take as many items as we can, uh, like the axe and such, and try to make it back to uh, the other hut, or not hut, uh, the ship, uh, with everything with us. So that way we don't have to return back to this side of the island, because I don't think we're going to be needing to come back here for a while. That's my guess, since we pretty much saved uh, that other survivor, and... There are a lot of, since there's still new areas over there, we might need some items and we can't have it uh, sitting over here. But what we're going to want to do first is eat that slick fruit. And that way we have more space. And we have our arrow, torch, bow, canteen, big stick, kindling, umbrella leaf, knife. Let's take our axe. Our fishing rod, our palace key. Oh, we f totally forgot to take the round gem. The matches, I don't think they're going to be useful. And the rest of this, I don't think we're going to be needing it. Baseball gear is pretty much useless. The whip is also useless. The matches, I don't think we even use them. I think they were just there at the beginning of the game just to, sit, just to show you that... You have matches, but they don't work anymore, so you're out of luck. And the working radio, I don't think we're going to need it since we pretty much already uh, had the radio broadcast mention that we're not going to get any help. So might as well just skip, uh, skip the bullshit and just keep on going. But yeah. Actually, I've been actually enjoying this game a lot, and I actually went into uh, looking into the game's like history, or not really history, but basically what this game has become later on in, uh, through its life. And it's actually still living through a spin-off series, uh, by, I think Konami, I believe, uh, called Lost in Blue. Uh, and where's the ramp? There should be a ramp. Oh, that's right there. Uh, eat. And, uh, that series is basically the same as Survival Kids, except some more new features, or not like new features, but like more unrealistic kind of uh, actions and situations uh, happen in that game. 
Which kind of makes me wonder uh, if... Uh, I am not winning this fight. And I can't move. Okay, good. Yeah, let's let's just uh, ignore him and keep on going. Right after I eat this fruit, we're going to probably need it. Uh, yeah, eat that uh, hard fruit. We're going to need to save as much fate tea because that's the only thing that I believe is much more worse than getting hungry or... Uh, The uh, kindling, or not kindling, a torch. Uh, in this game, it is much worse that is having a high fatigue more than a high hunger or thirst. Because the fatigue not only uh, is much more faster, like it, ha like it starts building up much more faster than hunger and uh, thirst, but it's also a uh... get you. Oh, of course, I can't. Uh, did we pick up any items that we don't need? Unfortunately, no. Uh, I think I can just drop the big stick. Alright. Yeah, because we're going to need meat. Big stick, I think it's also on this side of the island, so I'll be fine. Yeah, we made it back. Now let's go back to the ship to drop off these items, and this is the wrong direction. But yeah, uh, the fatigue build ups builds up much more faster. Yeah, there's another big stick right there. Scorpion, no. Uh, I will not get over here. Or I will not get over there. But yeah, fatigue, I, I recommend that you just worry about your fatigue more than your uh, health. Not Well, actually, health is very important, but uh, more than your uh, hunger and thirst, since those gradually uh, increase or decrease where fatigue pretty much loads up much more faster because as you can see my uh, hunger was at a hundred is at a hundred percent when we were in the cave it was also ten percent when we were like on the mountain and it just built up to 53 already uh, where my thirst has gone down only to 77 so fatigue builds up really quickly it's best to worry about that more than your uh, and then your other other stuff. Um, palace key, let's store. Store the fishing rod. Axe, we're gonna need you. Mm, I think I'll leave the bow. And Microsoft. Ah, I hate this thing. would happen during that time. Uh, let's see. Let's drop off the arrow. I think we'll keep everything else. We're gonna need the axe and we can put away the uh, round gem real quick. Oh, there we go. Circular depression. Let's drop off the round gem. There we go. Now what's left is only three more chains. The triangular gem the square gem and the crescent gem. But I think I'm almost near the time... Uh, actually, let me cook my meat real quick so that we have it already set for the next video. But we are gonna... I'm probably gonna have to cut it off here because we're almost up to 19 minutes and I think it's best we start off the new area in a different video. We did get a lot finished. We got to introduce uh, Mariko and uh, the other survivor. The, we got to get all our items into the new uh, ship, and yeah, everything's gone well. So I think we'll stop it right here. If you like this part, subscribe to my videos, white little button, give me a good thumbs up, review down below this video, and check out my other parts if you like this one. In the next part, we are going to tackle on the new area of the... What is this? Okay, not that part. The new area of... the ancient forest. So, I will see you guys next time.